What it do, Mamuchins? Good morning. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Lila. I'm Maria, and we're the Mamuchos. And we're all about living, loving, and traveling. And if you're too, subscribe now and hit the bell button to join our adventures. Vamanos! So last week, we talked about the four parts to a successful pre-plan. And hopefully everybody got a chance to go over the questionnaire last week. But if not, we left the link down below. Now, the first part of the pre-planning is the destination. And that's what we're going to go over today. Yes, because destination, I know it sounds simple. Because we can all just close our eyes and imagine that dream place we want to be. But the truth is, it's more than just that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, for example, our dream spot is Japan. Oh, and yeah. we could just buy the tickets and go there. But if we can do the things that we really want and that makes Japan so special, special to us or it's difficult to get to it then our dream destination can become a nightmare absolutely and that's why it's important to go over all the points of destination so point number one is desire environment yes and on this point here there's multiple options choose all that apply to you and if you're doing this as a couple it's all right to have different choices <laughs> yes it gets <laughs> interesting when you do it as a couple this can make you or break you. <laughs> yeah, because one of you might choose a location where you can go do some zip lining, yeah. and the other might not like it, while the other might choose a location where you have to go swim with damn sharks. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Point number two, food. Food is very important for us. Yes, it is. Sometimes food can even dictate our destination. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And it's important to be honest with yourself on this point because food is important to some, but others might choose location over food. Now, it'll be perfect if I can find like a Shake Shack in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Yeah, or a tapas bar. Uh, or a tapas bar. <laughs> anyway, everybody has their preferences yes. and some of us are more adventurous than others. The important thing here is to know how far you can go. So the next point would be weather. Now when it comes to weather, we're weird. We do not like the heat. Mm -mm. And I have family in the Carolinas on my mother's side and in the Caribbean islands on my father's side. So you would think I would like the heat, but I don't. And I'm from Spain and we all know that it's like sunny days, 350 days out of the year. And yeah. temperatures can get over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, but weather is important to travel for many reasons. It can prevent you from doing certain activities and excursions, but it also can provide some. Yeah, like snowboarding and oh, yeah. that new thing that I just learned, <laughs> ice fishing. Ice fishing. Yeah, I, I didn't that. know about that. But <laughs> you can do all these things in the cold weather. Uh, well, you can do jet skiing and jumping over the plane. Jumping over the plane or uh, out of the plane? Out of the plane. Skydiving? Skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> or just sunbathing in the warmer areas. Oh, yeah. Now, after you figure out the weather, the next thing you have to do is figure out the distance that you want to travel. Mm -hmm. Now, distance is something that can be a little personal because we all have different circumstances in our lives. Yeah, you might want to go around the world and discover every single place, but due to family, kids, or even health issues, you might have to stay close to home. So that's something to consider. Now, once you figure out the distance, the next point is language. Now, for those that have been traveling with us for some time now, know that I've been working on my Spanish. Mm -hmm. I still suck, but I do like learning and trying to have conversations whenever I can. Yes, but not everybody has the time or the will to learn a new language, and that's okay. So language sometimes can be a barrier, but it doesn't have to be. It's really all about the approach you have to it. Mm -hmm. There's so much technology now to help you with that, like Google Translate and Babbel, but also you have so many resources right at your fingertip to help break that language barrier. Yeah. Now that we have gone over all the points, it's time to look at the selection to find a destination that matches all your options. Yeah, so for example, if I wanted islands and beaches, I can eat all kinds of food, I love hot weather, which we know I don't, uh, <laughs> distance isn't a problem, and speak English, I can think of places like Belize, Bahamas, and Hawaii for mm -hmm. me. Okay, and let's say that I pick touristic places um, with all kinds of food, springtime weather, short distance to the U.S., and I speak the languages I know, I can think about Montreal, mm -hmm. Mexico City, and any state city in the U.S. because I do speak Spanish, French, and English. Oh, I actually like that one. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to find destinations that can give you everything you want. Because I can go to a small town in Spain, but the chances that they speak English is very slim. <laughs> so I'm probably better off staying inside a city area where they speak a little bit more English. Or I can compromise the English so I can stay in a small town. Yeah, this exercise will help you confirm in the places that you have already selected, but it can also help you find new ones. 
for some cases, you can step out of your comfort zone by compromising some of your preferences. Yeah, so apply these tactics to five of your destinations and see how they match up or see what you would have to compromise, mm -hmm. but also try to find five new destinations that match all your points. Yeah, absolutely. In the next video, we're gonna go over part two, and that's gonna be transportation. Oh yeah, transportation. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the next video. But hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Subscribe to travel more with us, but more importantly, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. Mamuchas, out.